Okay, so now the last function we need uh, to create in order to display all of the uh, options in our search engine is to display our locations as multi-select checkboxes. So go back to our functions.php, copy our last function, which is get cover, and paste it right underneath. Rename the name of the function to get location. And now we want to populate all records from the locations table. And we want them to be ordered by name, which is fine. Now uh, we can re remove everything after the if dot rows uh, is more than zero. Then we leave a loop, but we also will remove everything from inside of the loop. Now, if total rows is more than zero, which means if uh, we found records uh, while executing the SQL statement, statement, then first thing we're going to echo will be ul tag with the class of of chkbx. This is the class which I've uh, I've created in the styles uh, in a score.css file which comes together with these exercise files. Uh, okay, and double quote, closing double quote, and semicolon. Now, after the while loop, we are going to echo the closing ul tag. So, fine, we've got some weird character here. Okay, inside of this loop, do while, we're going to first echo the opening li tag and at the end we're going to echo the closing one okay now we're going to echo our input tag our checkbox so input type equals backslash double quote backslash double quote inside it's going to be checkbox the name will be again equal backslash double quote backslash double quote and after the first double quote SRCH locations with a hyphen and we're going to place something after the hyphen in just a minute then value sorry ID first equals actually if we copy this name here and just rename it to ID and value equals something as well then we're going to close the tag and we're going to create the label label for and the same thing SRCH underscore locations hyphen Okay, we're going to display the name here and closing label, closing double quote and semicolon. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to use this rows, double quote, double quote, inside two dots, rows, square brackets, two single quotes, and it's going to be ID, copy the whole thing. We want to apply this to our ID as well to our label for after hyphen and as a value to our value parameter okay now inside of the in between the opening and closing label tag we paste it as well and we name the ID to name and that's basically everything about this function so if we copy the get location go to our index.php and in our table cell with a call span of three let's display this function and see what it's going to look like if we refresh the browser you can see all of our locations are now displayed within the search form and we can multi-select uh, all these records okay so next video we're going to create another function called get sticky and what this function will do it will ensure that every time we go into click search button 
that the values which we've selected, which we've selected from drop down menus, radio buttons, whatever we've typed into the text field and our checkboxes will remain uh, the same. Because now if I select something from the drop down menus, radio buttons, and I type something here, if I click on a search now, you can see that everything resets to default. So these values don't really stay as, as they've been selected. So next video is what we're going to be actually, is when we're going to be actually uh, forcing all these values to stay selected.